while ago. Uh, it's been a long time away. And I guess now I'm back. Thank you for having me. Ow. Here I sit in my cell. I eat, sleep, and shit in my cell. All the anger that I feel won't even fit in my cell. So I tell it to my pen. That's my newfound friend. I told myself this is the last time I go to the pen. But then again, if I don't make good with this racket, before I go back to the pen shit, something's gotta happen. I'll be damned if I have to sell dope forever, going in and out of jail with no hope for better. Seeing the same convicts day after day, the same place with different shit, because he got something to say about the guards or the food or some brand new laws. Knowing he's thirsty as fuck, probably will steal your drawers. Even pictures of your kids ain't safe in here, because you got weirdos and chumbos for raping here, and they waiting here for a rookie to arrive with a baby fresh face and then look in his eyes. Don't look surprised, look straight. But as soon as you think you got it, you stop the tying your shoes. Oops, you've been spotted. Welcome to lockdown. That was just something I wrote for the future. Woo! For all little brothers and constantly on the road to go where I've already been. I had to take time out for that day. I wrote that when I was 19 years old. I'm blessed to be here at 40 years old. Um, this is another piece. I'll call this American the Beautiful. I hope you like it. Welcome to America the Beautiful. The land of the brave. The cemetery for burning Indians. The waste station for slaves. Stay, lay, and behave, will be told by past and present dictators, or should I say dictators. Because we all get fucked in the butt. But our presidents won't give a fuck about nothing but the almighty buck. And if they ain't enough, we put in the world and act like we fear none. And then start shitting freaks when we thought some dumb having clear bombs. Been lying when you're doing nothing we ain't doing it already been done. Besides, he's a plenty, but we were probably done the same as his sons. Brothers, mothers, and fathers by bottom of war. Leave each other the fuck alone if you don't see eye to eye no more. Because all these other shared ideas just seem to burst in our head. And for every action is a reaction, people, Calvin's is dead. If North Korea were to say, see ya, and knock our ass off the back, they probably could, because OJ was innocent. We still dealing with that. Lady Liberty, these glasses, their welfare won't cover. And we continue to follow her blind ass, and we all lost sisters and brothers. Columbine was a sign of the times. Also, Mrs. Yates, we read the paper every day and believe this is our fate. Is there such thing as a pearly gates? I suppose if you choose to believe. But even Superman was crippled, that's kind of hard to conceive. Sometimes I want to leave and escape this place. I keep my head inside these books, but I can't erase this hate. Did I feel when I eat, when I sit, when I think, when I sit in my house with my face in my sink? Trying to wash away the dirt of the world. I take a sip of wine to clear my mind, and then I sit and pray with my girl. Because she cares about my rib, and without her, I'm incomplete. There's your future in my being, I face with daily defeat. She sings to me, but I even open her, her mouth. I can see every inch of her body even better when the lights are out. She is hope. She is tomorrow. She is more than shelter. She is home. And home is where the heart is, and my heart is in it. Come and walk with me through different pages in my life. The different stages in my life, days that went right, but still I have to fight. I kept my eyes on the sparrow, surrounded by crabs, trying to keep me in the barrel. They used to call me Young Rob and Darryl because I felt the heat. I went through hell the type of fight that melt your feet. That's why I walk on my ankles, but I never fall to my knees. I'm trying to dive in the truck and dollars and leave it all to our seeds. So they can take care of mama shot, beat me again. Down to sleep, any motherfucker speaking on them. Little Sean and little John, both moms and sons. They are the future of the family. And the family is little man, my nephew. I slept through and I crept through motherfuckers. It's been a long time coming. But I pray, motherfucker. That if I can look up, that I can get up, and I can make my way through. Because every day is just a day and just a way for me to break through. Thank you.